Probably the most exciting improvement in NetFab's 2026 release is the TrueShape Packer. TrueShape is Autodesk's state-of-the-art, voxel-based 2D and 3D packing algorithm. It can now be accessed via NetFab's user interface and automated with Lua scripting. Several NetFab menus and settings have been updated to support this new packer and optimize workflows that benefit from it. In this video, we will show you how to use this new nesting technology and explore all its options. 2D and 3D TrueShape packers are accessible within the pack dropdown of the Arrange panel on the Home tab. They are also accessible from the Packing panel of the Arrange tab. You can also access the TrueShape packers from the Arrange pullout options within the right-click menu in Canvas. Additionally, you can access the TrueShape packer with predefined settings in certain machine workspaces. For example, the Pack Build Room button in machines like the Stratasys H350 or Farsoon eForm machines is mapped to the 3D TrueShape Packer. When accessed this way, the Packer automatically displays machine and material specific packing settings for distance to sidewalls, distance to the platform, and distance to ceiling. The TrueShape Packer lets you arrange parts within one or more build volumes for a given additive machine. Simply enter the maximum platform instances you wish to distribute your parts and the packer will automatically create new machines and nest your parts until the task is complete. We also added a new feature to expand and collapse everything in the project tree, making it easy to visualize all the new machine instances created while nesting parts across multiple platforms. Unlike legacy packers such as Monte Carlo, Scanline, and the Bounding Box Packer, the TrueShape Packer can create copies of parts during the packing process. You no longer need to duplicate your parts before packing. Simply enter a number in the Global Part Duplicates field, and the packer will automatically create new instances of all the parts during nesting. With the TrueShape Packer, you have full control over the packing priority of parts. You can assign a specific priority to a given part by reordering it in the project tree or have the packer automatically prioritize parts by their volume. The TrueShape Packer allows you to manually position certain high-value parts within your build volume and lock them in place. Once you're done orienting and translating these parts, you can lock them using a customizable keyboard shortcut, Alt-L, or the right-click menu. Locked parts stay stationary during the packing process and do not get duplicated or repositioned. The remaining unlocked parts are free to be duplicated and nested around the locked parts while avoiding the no-build zones. Speaking of no-build zones, the TrueShape Packer is now our recommended solution for nesting parts in machines with no-build zones. NetFab already supported the use of any custom shape and size no-build zone. With this release, we updated all the MPBF and SLS machines in our machine library to include the no-build zones recommended by hardware manufacturers. One key differentiator of the TrueShape Packer is how it places parts within the build volume of a 3D printer. The Packer considers all allowed orientations for a given part and places parts based on a user-defined criteria. Let's break this statement down into two pieces. The first piece is part orientations. With the TrueShape Packer, users have full control over allowed part orientations. You can tell the packer that parts can be rotated along their X, Y, or Z axes by certain increments. You can even allow parts to be rotated along multiple axes simultaneously by including multi-axis variants. Alternatively, you can enter a list of X, Y, and Z axis rotations that parts are allowed to use during packing. This is a novel concept in 3D nesting, so let's give an example. Here we have 9 parts, and we want to pack 10 copies of each part, totaling 90 parts within this generic machine. Using the rotation list radio button, we can enter specific orientation options for each part. In this example, we will limit the list to 4 compound angles. A part can only be placed within this volume in one of these four orientations. 
No parts can be rotated more than 10 degrees along the X and Y axis. If we know how we want to limit the rotation of parts within a machine, we can populate such a list manually or using external tools such as Excel or even an AI agent. Now let's look at the packing outcome. All 90 parts are rotated along their X and or Y axis by either 5 or 10 degrees just as expected. Now let's move on to the second piece, part placement. The True Shape Packer uses part placement criteria when choosing an orientation from the allowed list of orientation options. The part placement priority list is accessible when you enable advanced solver options. The packer has a long list of priority options to choose from when deciding which orientation to use. In this example, the packer prioritized orientations that minimize the build box volume, resulting in a high density nest. The total build height is 192 millimeters. But how does that arrangement impact the slice area per layer graph? To answer this question, NetFab 2026 includes slice analysis functionality within all SLS and MJF machine workspaces, as well as the analysis panel of the Analyze tab. In this case, the graph shows a relatively smooth distribution of area per layer, but there is significant variation in early layers with the maximum area reaching 295 centimeters square. Let's undo this packing outcome and repack these parts with different placement criteria. Using balanced Z-layer distribution as the main criteria results in a different outcome. This new arrangement uses more of the Z-height of the machine. The previous Z-height was 192 millimeters and the new one is 225 millimeters. Let's perform a new slice analysis and look at the new graph. The new graph shows a much smoother distribution with the maximum area dropping from 295 to 187 centimeters square. That's almost a 40% reduction in the max area printed for a given layer. In conclusion, by choosing rotations and placement priority, you have full control over how parts are oriented and placed within the build volume of your printer. Now, let's move on to additional advanced solver options available with this packer. The avoid interlocking parts option is enabled by default and creates nesting outcomes where parts do not interlock and can be separated from one another after 3D printing. You can also have more precise control over the placement of your first and subsequent parts using the True Shape Packer. You can place your first part in any predefined X and Y coordinate of the build plate. You can also control which axes the following parts should be placed along. If you select the center bias option, your highest priority part will be placed on the center of the build plate and all other parts will be packed around the primary part, potentially resulting in a circular part placement. The options we modified so far apply to all the parts we were nesting. However, you also have full control over packing options for each part. By selecting the Edit Per Part Settings checkbox and pressing OK, you gain access to the Part Settings table. Using this table, you can edit packing settings such as the number of copies, lock status, part priority, rotation type, and rotation angle for each part. With the True Shape Packer, you can also pack parts in 2D and arrange them on the build plate of any 3D printer. The 2D version of the True Shape Packer has an additional option specific to 2D nesting. Using the 2D version, you can choose to nest or avoid packing parts under the shadow of other parts. This option offers either a denser 2D nest or a spacious one, providing the required area to create necessary support structures for certain resin or UV curable inkjet printing technologies. Finally, we have updated the fill by build volume command to use the 2D and 3D versions of the True Shape packing algorithm. This command is available within the duplicate pull-down menu of the Arrange panel on the Home tab. Using this command, you can easily duplicate a selected component and arrange it within the build volume of your printer while keeping all other parts temporarily locked in place. 
with the new True Shape Packer included in NetFab 2026, you now have full control over how you nest your parts for all your additive manufacturing needs.